Nobody knows retail better than my next guest. I'm thrilled he's here. Matt Shea, president and CEO of the National Retail Federation. Matt, thank you so much for joining me. Your team calculates $430 billion in industry revenues that could evaporate over the next three months. Help us understand that. Well, Stephanie, I think, you know, the way we're looking at this is that uh, many of these businesses, although, as you point out, some were facing challenges unique to their own systems, but these businesses were solvent going into this crisis. They employ more than 50 million people and create job opportunities for millions of Americans, literally. And so what we want to do with this bridge between now and when we can restore our economy to normal operation is keep those businesses viable so that they're solvent when they come out and they can put those people back to work. And the key is to make sure that these programs that have been put in place are gonna be available for the companies that need them most. But let's talk about companies that need them most, but companies who have the ability to survive on the other side. When you have companies like a Macy's or a JCPenney that do employ thousands and thousands of people, but they've been suffering for years should they be getting massive government support when we don't know if they can survive? Well, I wouldn't comment on specific companies. I would simply say uh, you've got companies that literally employ millions of people. Uh, they're solvent businesses going into this. Uh, these are not you know, self-inflicted wounds. These are government mandates in the public interest. And of course, they're the right thing to do. But that's precisely why we need the government to step in and provide a bridge and some opportunity for these companies to be viable when we come out of this, which we will, so they can put those people back to work. And remember that as these companies are making these decisions, the number one thing in their minds is how do they take care of their employees? And they've been trying to do this mostly through furloughs so far and keeping them attached to the workforce. They can uh, still be qualified and eligible for benefits. So the goal, I think, that we all share, uh, not just in the retail industry, but you saw this coming out of the relief package that the Congress passed last week, was let's focus on American families, on consumers, on the workforce, so that when we're through this, that we're able to put America back to work. When we get through this, do you believe we're going to snap back? Or do you think people are going to change their habits? When you think about what the Amazon effect has been for the last few years, people becoming more and more dependent uh, on online shopping, that's clearly happening now. Is that going to continue or will we return? Well, Stephanie, I think a couple of questions there. The question about will we snap back uh, is both a medical question and an economic one. Uh, and in terms of you know, the things that we do now, uh, I think prepare us for the kind of recovery we'll have later. So if we take the dramatic actions that you're seeing states and, and the federal government take to protect our population, I think there's a better chance that we come out of this more quickly. And that's obviously all of the language that you've heard the medical experts talk about flattening the curve suggests that while we've got to endure the, the pain and the disruption now, that means we'll be better positioned to recover more quickly later. The separate question, I think, the related thing you ask is, uh, when we do come out of this, whether that's a V or a U or whatever the, the, the shape of the recovery looks like based on the steps we take now, do customers behave the same way? And, and I think the answer is that, as we've seen with every economic disruption in the past, the patterns and the trends that existed before we went into this disruption will simply be accelerated as a result. And so whether that's uh, online sorts of behavior, digital engagement, uh, fulfillment, uh, all of those things that are effective now are going to be things that I think will have a legacy and there'll be a long tail on that as we come out of the recession. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.